If Koran isn't already on your bucket list, then get a pen ready. You can consider Koran to be a smaller, quieter, and just as pristine version of El Nido. Just like its neighbor, Koran has natural wonders that defy logic and make you question reality. Swim through underwater mountains, visit hidden lagoons, snorkel over otherworldly reefs, lounge on baby powder sand beaches the adventures never stop. Today we share the top 10 best things to do in Koran so you can plan a trip and experience all the exciting attractions and activities this beautiful city has to offer. Starting with number 10, Koran Bay. Koran Bay is where all the magic happens. This breathtaking maze of deep blue water winds around tall limestone cliffs that remind you of the movie Avatar it almost doesn't seem real. There are multiple shipwrecks in the bay that have encouraged the growth of natural reefs. These reefs and the wrecked ships make ideal dive and snorkel spots. You can sign up for island tours that take you through Koran Bay while stopping at secret inlets, guiding you to the best swim spots, and visiting viewpoints that give you full perspective of the bay. At number 9 is the Kingfisher Park. You're going to do a lot of beach lounging and snorkeling in Koran, so why not switch it up for a day? Kingfisher Park is a mangrove and burr haven with tons of natural life to investigate. There are vegetation and animal species here that are specifically endemic to Palawan, in other words, you can only see them here. There are a few activities you can take part in including the Mount Lung Santo Trek and the Starry Starry Night Tour. At Number 8, Barracuda Lake. Not only are these underwater rock formations totally mysterious but also, they are set in an inland lake instead of off the coast with the rest of the crazy rock formations. Just when you thought Koran couldn't get more alien, it goes and does this. Barracuda Lake is an incredible dive spot where you'll was around the underwater mountains like your Peter Pan, swim through layers of salt and freshwater that are clearly distinct, and hit warm patches where the water can reach nearly 40 degrees Celsius. There's no other dive spot like this in the world, so take advantage while you're here. At number 7, Banana Island. Wanna get romantic? Banana Island offers tons of romance nooks to cuddle up with your sweetheart. Cozy next to each other in an isolated bungalow hovering over the water without another soul in sight. Have your boot gently push you on the swing hanging from an old tree as your feet dangle into the water, or snorkel hand in hand and find little treasures for each other in the reefs. After you are pumped full of dopamine and love hormones, sit on the shore and watch the sun go down. Now, that's romance. At number 6 in our list, Bulag Island. If you're ready to make all of your friends and family extremely jealous, then proceed to Bulag Island. The sand is perfectly powdery and white, the water is a beautiful amber that fades from a clear crystal to a bright turquoise, and the scenery is what Instagram dreams are made of. When the tide is low, a fresh sandbar appears where you can take those coveted jumping photos that make you look like you're floating in the middle of the ocean. And, if that wasn't enough, the way the catamarans line up on the beach looks like something out of National Geographic. At number 5, Buswanga Island. Just west of Koran Island is Buswanga Island that is home to an underwater wonder that divers just can't get enough of. In 1944, Dozens of World War I Japanese ships were hit in an aerial attack, sinking their ships right off the coast of Buswanga Island. Here is where these massive ships found their final resting place. Plenty of dive shops offer these wrecked dives where you can swim inside and around the ships, which are now covered in colorful reefs and eerie underwater moss. It's an adrenaline-pumping dive that is worth the hour or so boat ride to the site. At number 4, Banal Beach. Banal Beach is a small, idyllic white sand strip perfect for a day of tanning and splashing about in the cool water. Rather than reggae bars and goosthouses, you have jungle forests and pre-packed picnics. 
pack a bag full of snacks, beers, and water to make it an event. The beach is usually very quiet, which means there's more space for you in your photo opportunities. No matter if you're working with a smartphone or a professional camera, every shot turns out super Instagram-worthy. At number 3 in our list, Siete Picados. If you're looking to become one with schools of fish, this is the dive site for you. Literally translated, Siete Picados means the fish site with huge schools of tropical fish, rich corals teeming with creatures, and bright reefs. The best way to visit Siete Picados is to hire a private boat. Make this snorkel trip your first adventure of the day so that you can avoid the heat and the crowds. Ask your tour guide to bring some fish food along and you'll make lots of underwater friends. At number 2, Twin Lagoons. Also called the Hidden Lagoons, the Twin Lagoons offer a one-of-a-kind experience. The lagoons are essentially two small lakes that have been created inside limestone cliffs and are fed by the turquoise ocean water nearby. When the tide is low, the surface of the water lays below a beautiful limestone archway, where you can swim through to the other lagoon. As you swim through the water, you'll pass through warm spots and cold spots that just add to the strangely wonderful experience. Check out the number one places in our list, Lake Kyangan. That's enough swimming off the shore, now it's time to take your water adventures inland. Imagine Koron Bay if it was in the middle of the forest. That is exactly what to expect with Lake Kyangan. Put on some comfy shoes and set off on the 15-minute hike up approximately 300 stairs. The hike takes a bit of effort, but the lush forest scenery will certainly help make the journey more enjoyable. The lake is gorgeous with a shore that you can wade into. From up high, it's easy to see where the lake suddenly drops off into a deeper swimming pool. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite things to do in Koran. Is there something we missed let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.